my first gut instinct to intuitive eating is like go pound sand. Tracking. And I, I want to say like 80% of the people that reach out to me, you know, Facebook or wherever else and, and have an issue, a challenge like, Hey, I, I'm, having trouble losing weight or now I'm a woman in my forties, menopause, you know, perimenopause hormones are catching up to me. I can't lose weight. One of my first questions always is, do you know how much you eat? <laughs> you know, like, are you <laughs> tracking? Just a very simple thing like that. Um, and this can apply to lots of things in life, but we're talking food here. Um, you can't possibly know that you're actually in a deficit if you don't know how much you're eating and how much you need to eat. Right. Simple as that. Um, so one of the biggest roadblocks for people when it comes to weight loss, fat loss is just, they don't know how many calories they burn. They don't know how much they need to eat. They don't know, okay, how much fiber do I need? Macros, like all that stuff. On top of that, it's a mystery what their life looks like in a given week. Meaning they graze from their kids' plates. They eat the candy from the bowl in the office. They drink, you know, three glasses of beer, not just one or two right? Or it's, it's a big, heavy imperial stout that I love. And it's like 400 calories, not 200 calories. But it's only right? one glass. It's only one glass. <laughs> it's a glass of beer, right? They're all the yeah. same. Glass of beer. It's a glass of beer. <laughs> right? So you have all these hidden calories and then the weekends. So the classic like Monday through Friday, I'm quote unquote good. And then, oh, I eat a little bit more on the weekend. No, you're eating a lot more on the weekend, most likely. Um, I could go to the Mexican restaurant in town with my wife and like, even having eaten a big lunch and not be too hungry. And I'll easily come out 1500 calories from my dinner, from the, the, the chips and all the, you know, the cheese. Right. So, um, people talk about intuitive eating and I like to always push back and say, look, until you've developed the skill of knowing you, how much you eat, what you like to eat, your habits, your meal timing, uh, all of that, you know, irrespective of dieting and gaining just, awareness, just knowledge. Until you have that, you can't be intuitive in anything. Like what is intuitive? I'm just going to eat till I'm full. I mean, you might disagree. I don't know. We, we can get into like intuitive eating versus um, the skill of intuitive eating that you develop after tracking. But yeah, one of the biggest problems is that you're just not tracking for some time to gain that awareness, even if you're not going to track long-term. Yeah. I mean, I am, when I first started, and I think people would be surprised to hear this, um, is I tracked everything. I mean, I'm talking, I would literally buy a bag of baby cut carrots and I would literally count <laughs> okay. 12 carrots out for 35 calories and write it down. Okay. That's, okay. I mean, I was made fun of all the time. It's just like crazy, religiously tracking it, like just craziness. And, but it built the system. Like I was able to kind of, now I don't do that, but I was able to build the system of, okay, I kind of, now I can eyeball this. Now I can look at this and say, okay, mm -hmm. that's a portion of here. I can, I have now have that skill set to do it. I, I think tracking is monumentally important. I'll give two major examples. One, I had a client, I should <clears throat> a client, many clients who are like, Hey, I eat great. And I look at what they're eating and go, you are eating great. That's perfect. I'm not losing weight or fat. I'm like, okay, well, are you sure you're tracking everything? Of course, yes, I am. Okay. Well, first thing is you're not. They, the phantom calories talked about the, the one Oreo yeah, yeah. they pick up or the, well, Oh yeah, I forgot track that, right? The, people always forget to track kind of the nuances. They don't realize serving sizes are actually significantly smaller than what we think they would be. I believe, mm -hmm. you know, as I said, or is one Oreo is like 70 calories. I mean, just, yeah. just throwing it out there for everyone. Like that's, and that's not a small number, like, <clears throat> cause you're not eating one Oreo you're eating four. So like, that's a little bit different. I also think that when it comes to people don't realize you can overeat unhealthy food too. I mean, healthy sure. food's great. It's great for nutrients. It's great to, to fuel your body, but you can overeat it. My dad was trying to lose weight uh, a couple of years ago and he was eating awesome. I was like, you're eating healthy. How are you not losing weight? This is perfect. And then he tells me he's having a bag of almonds every day. And I'm oh, like, there you go. <laughs> what do you, you, you mean the hundred calorie pack of almonds? No, I go, well, I don't know. A bag of almonds shows me the bag. The whole bag is like 800 calories worth of almonds. I go, let's I go, dude, like you're 500 above your maintenance. Like you can't, and so I think when you don't track, it, it's very difficult to understand what's happening. I'm not saying you have to be a religious tracker. Because a lot of people don't want to track because it's very, it can be hard. It can be mm -hmm. tedious. It's, it's restrictive. But I, I find that when you start tracking, number one, you're instantly cutting off about 300 calories a day because you don't, number one, you don't want to put it on the sheet to show your coach yeah. that you had, the, that you, <laughs> that you had the, right. Like the, you, yeah. you had the Reese's and you don't want to show anyone you had that. So number one, you get, or you realize, Oh, I don't realize I was doing that. You get, start getting rid of a few calories. Number two, you're able to kind of see 
how much of something is and then start to kind of build that quote unquote intuition uh, over time as you kind of get better at it. So I, I'm a huge believer in tracking. I think there's a time and place for it. I think that at least track your main meal, right? At least get the main culprits or what you can track. Obviously not every restaurant has, you know, the tracking mechanism available, right? But like main, there are a lot of um, a mainstream restaurants that do. So do it where you can. And the more you can do it, you are decreasing the percentage chance that you get it wrong. And that's all I'm trying to do is just decrease the chance that we get it wrong. Let's increase your probability of success. Doesn't be perfect. Right. And you that's know, 80% what I'm trying to do. So I think tracking is important. And what I tell people to do is if you just, if you hate tracking, fine, track for three days, let's get a baseline of what you're trying to do. The intuitive eating part, I, I, I'm okay. So my first gut instinct to intuitive eating is like go pound sand. Like I, 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 I think it's the dumbest thing because like h- how can you have intuition if you've never done it before or you have no, like your intuition got you. Let's just, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to mean either. Like the reality is if you're trying to lose 50 pounds, you're probably obese and <clears throat> your intuition got you there. Got you there. Yeah. It got you there. So using that same method, how is it going to get you? I know maybe you're paying attention more, but I think you need to, something's disconnected. I think you need to learn the skills. And then over time, I think you'll, you, you can gain the skill of intuition. I think intuition is a skill, not just a trait. I think you have to learn it. And then once you get good enough, then you can start being, well, this was about this or this is, by the way, it's still, I've been doing it for over a decade and it's still difficult. I still screw up olive oil or pro whatever it is all the time. And I'm overeating or handfuls of stuff. So I think that tracking is monumentally important because it's just, it's very difficult to do on its own. Yeah. All, 